So, I'm getting my ink. I'm a little surprised that um, I was just kind of thinking about this last night that both of you, as project managers, were undefeated, and the other team, Corey, lost on his task as project manager, and David was the first time. So, I'm just a little surprised uh, that you ended up losing on this task. Sean, you were the project manager. What happened? Well, it came down to uh, what I think was most appealing to the eye in the end. Um, and I don't, I, personally, I think that the content that we had in our uh, advertisement was, was uh, really informative and I think it offered a real uh, strong like, uh, relationship between the Euphoria and the customer. And I understand that you did have an issue with the graphics, that the graphic designer, some of the things didn't work, is that correct? Uh, well, uh, it was a, uh, an issue getting into the design room and, uh, you know, uh, time. You don't have any pictures in your head. Um, they have tons of color and tons of pictures. Um, part of the reason being, I know that some of the files didn't open, some of the graphics that were sent didn't work. The other team brought one of the menus from before it, and they had him scan that in, and that's what they used. So did they just outthink you on this one? Um, they were obviously resourceful in that case. Uh, also, we did, uh, we, we uh, kept in mind that in your nine steps, it, you also mentioned that uh, images are not always necessary and that word uh, is a very strong and powerful tool. I'm glad you took that to heart with the coming from the nine steps, and I did consider that. But I did say pictures aren't always necessary, but in some cases they are. I think in any, with an ad such as this, especially if you looked at other ads that Euphoria has done, color and pictures of the product are very, very important. So this is one of those ads where, yeah, a picture would probably be necessary. A couple of comments that I had on the ad, um, and I don't think your ad was, was bad, in fact. Uh, there were good things and bad things about each, about each ad. Um, just a quick comment about your headline. Um, and I'm glad that you did have a headline, but if you take positive thinking, positive drinking, and now positive planning, you take that out of context, I have no idea what that means. What actually would have been a better headline that speaks directly to me as the consumer was your subheading, which says, is your day too hectic, feeling overtired, but before it helped plan your diet. That would have been a much better headline. The other ad, unfortunately, was a little bit too busy. They, at least what I liked about yours was you had a concept. You didn't, uh, your concept was, you know, make it part of your day. You've got the morning, your break, your lunch. That's a concept. Yeah. The other ad didn't have a concept, really. It was just kind of a hodgepodge of different ideas. Uh, their headline doesn't stand out quite enough, but they did use new and free, which were two things mentioned in uh, the nine steps, two very powerful words. And one of the big things for Bob is that he talked about mentioning the VIP club yeah, and I'm getting him up with the rewards and everything. That was uh, in, in a small part down here at the bottom. There's, there's, there's no another part of the nine steps is uh, the call to action. Two of the most important parts of the nine steps are um, the headline and the call to action. And you have no call to action. They at least have visit Euphoria and fill out a membership profile today. And so come on down to Euphoria and it's in Plaza just off Lakeshore. They have two calls to action. A little weak, I would say, but better than having none. Um, so it's not so much as uh, that they just, that this ad was so much better than this one. They are actually, in, in my opinion, neither one was that great. But for the knowledge that you had, I think you actually both did fairly well. But I'm actually quite surprised though too that looking at the color and everything from this ad that the other team did, um, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this ad would have come from you. I mean, Rita being a wedding planner, having a, a flair for style and color and that, and you as well, Sean having a theatrical background, I would think that this would have been done by your team and this would have been done by the two guys that probably, this is basically uh, as far as content goes, it's basically a laundry list of the menu, which could have, anybody could have done that. The concept about, you know, morning, afternoon, dinner is a good concept, but this part doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't have enough content to explain 
features and the benefits of euphoria, whereas they went into some details. Uh, let me just give you a few examples they mentioned in there. 100% uh, natural, no preservatives. Uh, favorites like Euphoria Sunrise and Poor Berry Fusion, although they called it Flower Berry Fusion. Um, power smoothies for those on the go. Visit many exotic locations through the power of scent and taste. It's very exotic, it's very sensual sounding, which is what Euphoria wants to get across. Um, all of that was missing from your, from your ad. It's very clinical, very dry, very bare, very easy to read. I like the layout, much easier to read than theirs, and a much better concept, but in the end, you failed on the headline, no call of action. I, I, I figured that if there was a call to action, actually, in just the way you work in your day. Like, I, maybe I just misinterpreted the way a call of action works, but like, I figured, you know, we're, we're saying, you know, come for your morning, you know, if you need something in the morning, you know, here's, here's you know, we, we can help you here, and, and like, uh, on your lunch, if you need, I don't know, maybe that's a bit. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Something else that we, we're planning on is also you're writing the rest of the picture, you should have a picture in the ad, um, all the like sets and then the picture doesn't need to be in the ad. In this case, though, that definitely helped. Um, one of the questions we asked was age groups. How many age, different age groups in the morning, in the afternoon, coming into the location. So we wanted to make an ad that was appealing to basically anybody. Because sometimes an ad has a lot of color is not appealing to the 35 to 40 year olds. And sometimes an ad that doesn't have that much color, again, not appealing to the 18 to 25 age. So we wanted to make it easy to read, that when we went in, we had all laid out, but still appealing. But you definitely write the picture with a lot. Okay, fair enough. Let's, let's finish with the ad. Uh, no more about the ad. What I wanted to do now is talk a little bit about you individually. Um, first of all, Rita, tell me why I shouldn't fire you today. I have a goal, I want to open a business. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback, which is amazing. I've got a goal now, a step closer to the goal that I want, and I've grown as a person. So. You're working for Teletech right now, are you? Are you, are, yeah. are you planning to do this wedding planner idea, whether you win the contest or not? Are you planning to go ahead with this idea? Definitely. Yeah, um, I'm already working on, in case this doesn't happen, I have a backup on a proposal again, okay. so that I can actually bring it uh, to the different other businesses or different banks. But uh, I want to open my business, I will open my business here in North Bay within the next five years, hopefully. No plans to move back to Toronto? Does it bother you, Sean, that uh, with episode three, where you, Rita, you were actually the project manager on that one, and Sean, they chose your theater company idea as the one that they were going to promote. You tried to fool them a little bit by uh, misleading them a little bit in your interview, and they beat you anyway. Does that bother you at all? It doesn't bother them, me that they beat me at all. I, um, um, I actually spent the next few days uh, really toiling that in my mind. I, I consider that I don't feel like I'm a very honest person when it comes down to it. I feel that I want to live my life just full of integrity and just being noble. I should keep my, my honesty with me because I, I don't want to take something away from somebody because I was dishonest. Like if, if it's another person's time in this universe, like I said before, to win or to achieve, then, then they should have that. Do you think at all that Rita is a little bit too nice to, to succeed in business? Don't you have to be tough in business to succeed? Do you think she really has what it takes to uh, go the distance? Um, I think yeah, you're right. I think I do agree that Rita has a quiet nature and that uh, often uh, it would take it would be beneficial for her to um, put herself more uh, concretely out there and sort of uh, create stronger lines and edges so that uh, people can take her more seriously. Sean, tell me why I shouldn't fire you and why you deserve to win. Some people say going to theater school is like going to boot camp. I believe that emotionally I've gone through so much experiences and I've come to really find a grand grounding in my life and I'm, and I'm a very stable person and I have a strong personality. So, with that in mind, um, I, at the same time, I think my business is something that uh, I feel very strongly about and that I think would offer the community such a vast um, uh, sense of heritage and, and, and a community and a communion and uh, coming together. I think it's new and, and I think with my experience as a theater person, which is vast, and I will tell you right now, like, I'm not a, a, a shallow waters when I come to theater. I'm, heavily steeped in theatre. I, I know it like 
like you gotta understand me. It's like it's like it's a lover to me. Like <laughs> theater is I like that. When people see me doing theater, they're like it's I direct, I act, I direct all ranges of kids and stuff like that. So I am the person to put this theater, to, this company together, and I'm gonna get it done. And I'm also the type of person who drives himself past any wall and will take any um, obstruction as a, as a challenge, a way to get get to the, to the next level of whatever it is, life or business, whatever. Whether you win this contest or not, I am sure to drive and ambition to do this theater company, yes. whether you win or not. Yes, I am. I am going to, let my theater, my life is theater. See, I can't even think of it. You know, because I, I know I am theater. This is what I want in the world. It's what I'm meant to do. And that there's no way I'm ever going to not do it. I'm, I'm doing it right now, actually. I think with the two of you, you could really see throughout this whole this task, you could really see your enthusiasm. You could really see how much you wanted to satisfy um, the task and make sure Bob uh, got what he was looking for. Um, but again, I think when you're working on a specific task, whether it be starting your business or whether it be developing an ad for another company, you have to stay focused on that, and you have to make sure that every question, every every aspect of what you're doing, is focused on that task. So your passion into everything you're doing, right? So I think that's something you need to take away and that's something that I think ref was reflected in the ads was that you need to make sure that you're asking the right questions and you're focusing those on the task. But this task really came down to that meeting with Bob and the information that you were able to call from him. Um, and so I think that's partly where you, you failed was in that, uh, that meeting. If you didn't get the right information, how would you know exactly what was supposed to go into the end? It's not a matter, not a matter of being noble and honest. Holding true to your own ethics is one thing. But at the same time, being afraid to go, you're not afraid to go the extra step, but being afraid just to do something that's not per se a little dishonest, but something that's a little bit out of your character. Well, in order to win is you know something that comes every day in business, in my opinion. And at the same time, being too nice, being soft-spoken, I'm nice, I'm soft-spoken, but come on. You and I both know there's sassitude involved. You know what I mean? Don't step on my toes, because I'm going to step on your whole foot. Here it comes. As far as your ad's concerned, I mean, I thought it was great, but it's the biggest mistake in marketing is focusing on everybody. You know what I mean? When you try to target everybody, you're targeting nobody. Okay, we've got to wrap this up. Uh, can you step outside for a minute? We're just going to deliberate for a minute and we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Yeah, you can so Jessica, who would you fire? I very much like the point of view, but I have to appreciate this question, so I'm going to say you can make the best of it. I agree. I think Rita has a bit more, she has a strength, she'll make it on her own regardless whether she wins this. Um, Sean can do this if he still needs to set up to just be able to come through and bring himself. So I think Rita should win. It's Rita, okay. Thanks. Send him in. So, Sean and Rita, we're going to keep this brief. Um, I've watched both of you over the past couple of weeks and I've seen your passion for your businesses. Um, you both are undefeated as project managers, which I'm very impressed with. Uh, you both actually won awards, which I'm also very impressed with. Uh, I think you made a few mistakes in your ad, uh, maybe overthinking it a little bit, um, not adding in the color, not having a great headline, at least you had a headline, and having no call to action. Um, I don't really think uh, the ads were pretty close. Uh, as I said before, I don't think that uh, even though Bob chose the other team's ad as the winner, I'm not so sure I would have done that myself. Uh, and ultimately, this is my show, so I can do what I want. Um, I've actually had feedback from different people that have said, even the graphic designer that have said, if these two ads were combined, uh, they would be a much better ad. So there's good elements in both, and there's bad elements in both. You did what you had to do what you could do under the time constraints and what you had to work with. I think you both did a commendable job with uh, the resources that you had. Um, what I'm going to say is I'm not going to fire either one of you today. I'm going to keep you both. I believe in both of you and I believe that you can both succeed in what you're doing whether you win this contest or not. You both have the, the passion and the drive to do it and I hope you do. 
please just step up and continue to show that passion. Yeah. Any comments, any final words? Um, thank you, and I promise we'll get a talk a lot more. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, meet me again before I'm sure I'm going to Good. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. You may go. Yep. What do you think? Honestly, I think one should have won. I think we should have won. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, it is your show. You do your best. And uh, you see a potential that I'm not seeing, well, then I'll support you. I have to say, uh, you know, I would have preferred to see Rita uh, take a step down, but we're giving her the opportunity now to go forward, so I'm interested to see what she has to offer. Excellent.